Hello and welcome to another video of English Graham. Today we are going to talk about present perfect progressive or you can also call it present perfect continuous tense. Let's break it down. Present perfect progressive tense is used for an action that started in the past and continuing in the present. Time reference is used to indicate when an action is started. Time reference. There are two types of time reference. The first is point in time and the second is period of time. Well, for point in time, we use a preposition since and since can be used before a specific hour, a specific day, a specific month or a specific year. For example, since 1 o'clock, since 1 p.m., since Monday, since May, since 2015, since childhood. And period of time, for period of time, we use a preposition for, and for can be used if we are talking about a number of days, number of months, number of hours, or a number of years. Example, for 10 days, for several months, for three hours, for five years, for many years. Now let's see what's the construction to form present perfect progressive sentences. Well, first comes the subject, then the helping verb has or have, then been, then the base form of the verb with the addition of ing, and then the time reference. Let's, and uh, let's know when we can use has or have. Whenever you have he, she, it, this, that, or any singular noun, as the subject of the sentence, you will use has. And whenever you have I, V, you, they, or any plural noun as the subject of the sentence, you will use have. Let's have first example with the subject she. She has been playing video games uh, since two o'clock. Remember that we have talked about a point in time when she started at two o'clock. She has been playing since two o'clock. And if, you're if we talk about a period of time, the sentence can be she has been playing video games for two hours, for three hours, for four hours. We are not talking about a specific uh, time or a specific hour. We are just talking about the duration. Let's take another example with the subject as they. They have been visiting this place for many years. Remember that we haven't talked about a specific year. We are saying for many years, it's period of time. And if we talk about a point in time and we want to use a year, we would say they have been visiting this place since 2010. Now let's know how can we or how we can form or compose interrogative sentence. Let's take the first uh, sentence uh, as interrogative. What do we do in, in interrogative sentences? We uh, take or we pick the helping verb has, we bring it at the beginning of the sentence and the rest of the words remain the same and the sentence turns into interrogative sentence. For example, uh, the first sentence was, she has been playing video games since two o'clock. We will pick the word has, we'll bring it at the beginning of the sentence and it will turn into interrogative sentence. Has she been playing video games since two o'clock? Let's take the second uh, sentence, which was they have been visiting this place for many years. Uh, what will we do? Can you guess? Yes. We will take the or we will pick the helping verb have, bring it at the beginning of the sentence and it will turn into uh, interrogative sentence. Have they been visiting this place for many years? Now let's know how can we or how we can uh, form or compose negative sentence. We add one word between has been or have been and the sentence turns into negative sentence and that word is not. Let's take the first sentence as example. The first sentence was she has been playing video games for two hours and what will we do? 
she has not been playing video games for two hours and the second sentence was uh, they have been visiting this place for many years and what will we do can you guess yes we'll put not between have and been and it will turn into negative sentence they have not been visiting this place for many years now I'm going to utter or I'm going to pronounce some sentences I will use both has and have in the sentence you have to choose which one is correct which uh, helping verb is correct in the sentence or in the sentences I'm going to utter John has have been practicing English for many years the correct answer is John has been practicing English for many years because John is one guy it's a singular noun that's why we will use has the second example we has have been meeting them since Monday the correct answer is or the correct helping verb is we have been meeting them since Monday we are plural we are the plural pronoun that's why we have used have the third example I has have been calling you for two hours the correct answer is I have been calling you for two hours fourth example you has have been teasing me for the past two minutes the correct sentence is you have been teasing me for the past two minutes that's all for today i hope you liked the video if you did subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and press the bell icon button so you can have my latest videos notification as soon as they are up on youtube thank you very much for watching the video thank you very much for being here see you next time goodbye